everybody! I thought I'd do a bit of a get ready with me video. I haven't done one of these in a while and I'm just getting ready to do some filming so I thought I'd kind of chat with you guys while I get ready. I decided I'm going to play around with my um, Coastal Scents Revealed 3 palette because I haven't really played around with it much and it came in a boxy charm. So yeah, if you want to watch me do my makeup then keep on watching. First of all, check out all these breakouts. I don't know what is happening. It's it's been there for like two weeks now. They just keep coming and going. I don't know if it's hormones or what. So I'm going to take some of this Hard Candy Glamouflage concealer right off the bat. It's really high coverage, really heavy duty. A little bit goes a long way. And I find that if I just place this on first and let it sit there like while I do other things or my eye makeup, sometimes I do my eye makeup first, which I might do today, then it kind of dries in that spot and then I can place foundation over top and it's a little bit more extra covered up. I don't know if this is an actual thing, like I don't know if this is a real technique or what, but uh, it's been working for me re here recently, so that's what I'm going to do. Alright, now that I look extra awesome, I'm going to take some of my concealer. This is the Sephora Gel Serum Concealer, and I am going to start with eyeshadow. So I'm just going to place this down kind of as a primer, kind of just to even everything out, the skin tone on top of my eyes. It's very thin, but it's got really good coverage. And I'm just going to wing it with eyeshadow. I'm going to pick whatever looks good. I'm going to start with this matte brown color because it's just going to work to blend everything together. My goodness, I look funny with this concealer on my face. But a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So, I'm using a fluffy brush with a bit of that brown on there. It's a little bit of a darker shade than I'm used to working with right off the bat, but there wasn't a lighter one that wasn't like skin tone. So I'm just gonna kinda roughly buff that into the crease in my eye. I'll bring you guys in closer. Alright, so that gave my eyes a little bit of dimension. I'm going to take the color next to it, this kind of cream color. Actually, I might, I might mix a bit with the white right beside it. On more of a flat brush, I'm just going to place that right up under my brow just to highlight. And it kind of buffs out the edges of the brown anyways. Okay, next, taking a more fine tip fluffy brush. I'm going to take this raspberry color because it looks intriguing, that color right there. I do have to admit that these shadows, I mean the darker ones are pigmented, that's for sure, but they're a bit on the powdery side. It is a, um, a cheaper palette, that's for sure, so you're not spending like high-end amounts, but it's definitely a bit powdery. I'm just kind of placing that in my crease right below where the brown is just to add a bit of extra color. All right, now I'm going to take this matte kind of taupey color right there. I don't know, it just looks appealing to me, but it doesn't look like it's going to be as pigmented as I want on its own. So I actually have this 5-in-1 Bare Minerals BB Advanced eyeshadow kind of cream. It's a very similar color. So I figure I'll just place some down on my lid and then that color will stick to it better and show up a lot better. So I'm just staying here on the lower portion of my eyelid, kind of blending it out a bit with my fingers. All right, taking that flat shadow brush again, I'm just gonna pat the color right on top. And it does look pretty much identical, I do have to say. But while I'm doing this, I thought I'd let you guys know I have been stocking the Sephora website here recently, looking for all the holiday palettes to come out. It's my favorite time of year to try new makeup. I love the value sets and the different options you can get as far as um, holiday gift sets. So, if there's anything that interests you guys and you want to see me buy it and review it, let me know because I'm on the hunt, that's for sure. All right, I feel like I need a bit of shimmer on the inside portion of my eyes. So I'm going to try this kind of champagne color right there. Just dusting off my brush because I don't feel like grabbing a new one. I'm going to grab some of that and just place it right here on the inner corner. I don't know if I'm a fan of these eyeshadows. 
I own so many that are so pigmented and so brightening and sparkly and this is not wowing me. I do like the taupe color on my lids, but I don't know, it's just not wowing me. All right, next I'm gonna do a little trick I do quite often. A lot of people will put down tape so that they have that sharp kind of cat eye edge. I go even more lazy about it and I just take a makeup wipe. This is one I used this morning just to kind of cleanse my face. And all I'm gonna do is drag it under my eye and remove any excess eyeshadow that's in places that I don't want it. And I try and pull it in a straight line so that I get that sharp edge. And then as you can see, it just removed any of that eyeshadow that kind of is in areas that it shouldn't be. So I'm just following my lower lash line, dragging the makeup wipe up, and then I have more of a sharp defined eyeshadow look. And this is also really good for um, when you do winged eyeliner because then you have a line to follow. So that's a little life hack or I guess makeup hack. All right, I cannot find my Stila Stay All Day eyeliner, so I'm going to play around with the hard candy one that I recently hauled, but if you guys watched, I don't know what video that was, my September favorites, this one's a little bit trickier to work with. It's a f more fine of a tip, but I don't know, it bleeds or something. It just seems to be a bit runnier, so you have to be a bit more careful, so I'm probably not going to talk while I do this. Alright, so I'm digging the right eye not the left eye. I don't usually do this, I usually try and make it work, but it's just too thick for me on the left eye. I kept trying to fix it and uh, it's just making the problem worse. So you guys get to see an eyeliner fail in this video. How exciting. I'm going to take the uh, trusty makeup wipe and remove the area of the eyeliner that I'm not a fan of. And then I'm going to touch up the eyeshadow that ended up being removed from me doing this and then I'll fix the eyeliner. Today is not a good eyeliner day. I blame the eyeliner. I need to play around with it more, but we're moving on. Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. I'm just going to take a little bit on my fingers and apply it to my face with my fingers. This concealer is dried now. So even though it looks patchy, it'll look fine once I put foundation over it and it will just be extra locked in. I don't know, I find that it covers better that way. And then because my concealer is a bit on the lighter side, it's not like I've just highlighted my zits because <laughs> the foundation on top is the right shade for me. And then, therefore, the zits are the right shade for me. So, if you have uh, a different technique for how to cover up crazy monster zits, well, let me know because I'm always learning and I would love no, so I just, I'm extra careful when I go around the eyeshadow area there. But yeah, just rubbing it in. Okay, taking that same Sephora Gel Serum Concealer that I've been raving about, placing it under my eyes and kind of up my cheekbone. Now I look extra crazy again. Taking my beauty blender, just get patted in. All right, I'm going to use a cream blush. This is the EE one that came in an Ipsy. Just taking a stippling brush. I really like this shade. I feel like it's very fall appropriate. And I've just been loving cream blushes because, I don't know, I just like that they're matte and they seep right into the skin. And then because of that, they stay all day. So I can always add my own highlighter on top if I want to be glowy. And if I don't, then I don't have to. While that's sinking in, I'm just going to take my Anastasia Brow Pomade with an angled brush here and do my eyebrows. I really need to get my eyebrows threaded or waxed, doesn't matter, it needs to happen. Gotta find time. <laughs> that is the issue in my life at the moment. Between having three kids, one being a baby, school, well that was a fail, school, activities, and I've been doing a lot of filming here recently, especially for my mommy channel. A lot of reviews in the works, so that is just very time consuming. I love doing it, but uh, doesn't leave a whole lot of time for me to do other things. 
taking this Chella eyebrow defining gel and running it through. I haven't been using gel on my eyebrows, but again, this was came in an Ipsy or a glossy box or something like that. And I do like it, so I figure why not use it. All right, that's done. Now I'm going to take my NARS translucent crystal light reflect reflecting powder that I use every day of my life and talk about. Look at I'm almost done this one, which is exciting, I guess. Um, it's exciting because I have a backup. If I didn't have a backup, it probably wouldn't be exciting because I'd have to go buy it. But the last Sephora VIB sale in the spring, I bought a backup because I knew I would need it. And I do. And I'll probably buy another backup in Christmas when there's another Sephora sale, like the VIB sale. So, yes, a wonderful powder. I'm going to add a bit of bronzer. This is the Tarte Duo. I think this is Park Avenue Princess. I'm not sure. The name is not on it. But I'm not going to contour per se. I'm just going to add a bit of color to my face. If you're wondering what this white is, it's dry shampoo. I'm letting it sit in my hair at the moment because I'm on second day hair. And I'm going to recurl my hair because it was curled yesterday. I can film some videos, so yeah, soaking up my oils. All right, last face product. This is the Mary Luminizer from the Balm. This stuff is intense. You need to be careful with it. I'm um, gonna put a little bit on a fan brush and just dust it over the highest points of my cheeks. Also gonna put a little bit on my nose and my cupid bow. Now. I'm shining. Do you guys think it's weird the order in which I do my makeup? <laughs> I kind of jump all over the place. And you know what? Each time I do it, it's different. Sometimes I start with my eyes, sometimes I don't, sometimes I bounce back and forth between eyes and face, eyes and face. I typically always do... Where's my mascara that I like right now? I like the, the Maxime Lash at the minute, at the moment. But I typically do my mascara last. No matter what I do, and where I'm at in my process, I usually leave mascara for last. And then if I'm going out that day for like a long day or a special event, I will spray my face with um, Urban Decay Setting Spray before my mascara and then put my mascara on. But on a typical day, I don't use a setting spray. I also thought I should note, if you hear snoring in the background, um, I'm kind of immune to it, but it's my dog. He's a bulldog. He is super handsome and he snores a lot so yeah he also farts a lot hopefully you didn't hear any farts but he farts more than a human and louder than a human like an obnoxious i don't know college boy or something like that like a really doesn't care just let it all out kind of fart so sure you wanted to know that so that's my dog Huey. For lips, I'm just gonna stay nude. This is the JLo collection from L'Oreal. It's just like a pinky nude. I have been enjoying darker lips, but I feel like this eye look requires more of a nude lipstick. And I totally forgot to drag some eyeshadow underneath my eyes, but my mascara down there is currently wet. Uh, let me just take a little bit and see if I can get away with it. With the mascara being wet. Just to kind of drag that corner eyeshadow. Blend that all together a little bit. Alright, there we go. Finished makeup for the day. I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, I'll zoom you in a bit so you can see. There we go. So there's the eyes. Just like a little bit of pop of raspberry cranberry. I think it's pretty. There's the cheeks. Very natural looking, natural lip. And yeah, that's it for my get ready with me. Thanks for watching if you're still here. And I'll see you later. Bye.